Australia has entered summer in unprecedented territory. Sky News Weather has analysed rain and temperature data across the country since 1900. We can now confirm that 2019 will be the driest year on record across Australia and more than likely it will also be the hottest year on record. This is due to well below average rainfall and well above average temperatures through 2019 across most of Australia. The drought right now is crippling the nation. We're seeing water supply levels and soil moisture dwindling and as a result of the drought out, we have hundreds of bushfires burning across the country. So far this year we've seen frequent dust storms as a result of this drought along with the fires that have burnt through well over 600 homes just in New South Wales alone so far this fire season. Here are the rain decels across the country so far this year, January to November. The red shows below average rain. The darkest red shows where it has been the driest year on record. Only northern Queensland, indicated by the blue, has been wetter than normal. Now when you average that rain across the whole country so far this year, there's been an average of 256 points two millimetres of rain. The long term average for Australia, 465 millimetres of rain. So we're about 200 millimetres below average. The driest year on record for Australia is back in 1902. The average was 314.5 millimetres. For us not to break that record, we would have to average about 60 millimetres of rain across Australia through December. Given the current weather patterns, that's a near impossibility. It would take a Christmas miracle with 50 millimetres falling right across the country between Christmas and New Year's. That's just not going to happen given the current climatic conditions. And the temperatures have been warm. These are the temperature deciles over the past 12 months. The darker shading shows where it has been the warmest 12 months on record. Again, if you average all those temperatures across the country between January and November, it's been 1.37 degrees above normal. This is the minimums and the maximums. The current warmest year on record, 2013, it was 1.33 above normal. So if December is as hot as what we have seen so far this year, we're going to break that record. Remarkable to break the rain and the temperature record in the same year. So why has it been so hot and so dry? There are three main reasons. We started the year with a borderline El Nino. We then went into a strong, positive Indian Ocean dipole in winter. By spring, it became the strongest on record. This all refers to ocean temperatures surrounding Australia. Plus, there's the background influence of climate change, which ensures... Almost every year now is warmer than normal. Since 2001, there's only been one colder than average year across Australia. So when will this all come to an end? That positive IOD will not break down till the middle of summer, which means our rainfall patterns will not return to normal until probably at least late January.